Today, we were on the campus of the University of Illinois for our National Shorthorn Sire Test Field Day. We do our national sire test through the university where we take shorthorn bulls, breed them to commercial black-hided cows, and collect complete performance data from birth all the way to carcass on these cattle. One of the, the neat aspects of, of this project and our capabilities here is that we can collect individual feed intakes. So we have the Grow Safe uh, feeding system that allows us to get individual feed intake in a pen setting. And so not only do we have our typical traits, uh, birth weight, weaning weight, yearling weight, but we also have feed intake, which then allows us to calculate a feed efficiency, and we'll get a full set of carcass data on these. Obviously, this project was really put in place to help the Shorthorn Association get more data and particularly on the feed intake and the carcass data. That really allows them to build their database and, and hopefully uh, be able to have a feed intake EPD for the breeders to use and whether, you know, then can be implemented into a selection index. So really, in some cases, it kind of helps document what the breeders already knew, that they have cattle out there that, that perform really well and they have excellent carcass traits and, and just get some numbers behind what some of these bulls and what some of the breeders know in their genetics can do. Shorthorn cattle are very are a very unique breed. They can combine a lot of qualities that are beneficial not only to the commercial cattlemen, but the people that raise them are obviously very proud and know what these cattle can do. They're they're strong maternally. They they make good cows. They can stay in the herd a long time. Uh, docility is a huge selling point of the breed. You know, with the the shorthorn cattle have done really well. They, uh, They've calved unassisted, birth weights and, and gestation lengths have been right in line with, with our Angus sired cattle and that first set of cattle there last year, I think 80 some percent win choice, did really well. There's no question adding in the feed intake and strengthening the, the carcass data that they have will really help move the shorthorn breed forward. I think the shorthorn breed has a, has a bright future. I think the more work and research and information we can gather on these cattle to prove their viability to the industry, we can, we can start to develop a, a stronger market for shorthorn genetics on, in the commercial industry. There's, there's a demand right now looking for an alternative to some of the black-hided breeds out there that are so popular. Crossbreeding and taking advantage of heterosis, whether it's just in your feeder calves or in replacement females, is something that more and more commercial cattlemen seem to be looking for, and the shorthorn breed certainly offers that.